We're making the hits like we would in the woods to basically cut and pull out the butt log and pull the top out for firewood because you don't, I guess around here they don't leave nothing laying in the woods, correct Brian? Typically not. Yeah. Get the firewood out of the woods. So you can burn it instead of mother nature. So we're gonna put our chokers on while it's up in the air. That's gonna go on that end. Slide this other choker up here, the second one. I'll cut her. Cut about a third down through here. Yep, then come from the bottom. Nope, we're good. Okay, we're chokering this first, just so we don't have to fight getting the choker chain under the log after we've cut it and it falls down. Get your cable out of the way. Right here, we're gonna make our cut at 12 foot. Be a 12 foot butt log out of this tree, which will make a nice one. So Brian's gonna slice down a third and do an undercut. So that tree's probably gonna to wanna to roll this way as you're making that cut. So you wanna, when you make your cut, bring your saw up on this side first and then let that side finish through, okay? Cause she'll probably wanna roll on you. You'll see it, but feel it, okay? So now that we've got it cut off, now we're gonna snatch that tree right out, the whole thing. With just that little horsepower tractor, the tractor probably don't have enough power to pull the whole tree, but that winch does. Put the bucket down. Now if you notice that winch is dropping right into the dirt, So we're feathering it right now with the, with the hydraulic winch. The, the tractor ain't got enough power, so I have to feather it. See how that winch is biting right in though? Look at that front end of the tractor come up. Now that top is extremely heavy and it's biting in like a plow with them broken limbs. There you go. It's all yours. It's all yours. Take it up the hill. You should have run with it now. It ain't gonna do it. Yeah. No, it ain't gonna do it. But we can see a good shot of how that winch bit in. Oh yeah. And awesome. holding that little tractor. So with, yeah. with the remote, you can release the cable and drive up. And right. Do it, again. do it again. Yeah. Absolutely. So okay, so we'll drop that. We pull that other log up. <laughs> Go ahead, John. Good. You want it? You just grab that hook and go. A lot easier. Yes, sir. This one in second, so it's on top. There you go. I'm showing right here the little damage that that winch did just pulling in that huge log. You've seen it pull right in, but you can fix this so easy, just stomp it down, and you don't have a big rut in your, in your woods or your meadow. So it's really effective to curve on that winch.